What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooter and Marina. I want to make a quick video on cleaning regs. I'm not necessarily going to show you how to clean your reg. I'm just going to show you some things that you may want to consider before you store your regulator when you think it's actually clean. Now this is one of our rental regs here and after every time we get out of the water, whether it's pool, the lake, the ocean, whatnot, we spray it with a water hose really good or we put it in a dunk tank and we kind of rinse it out and then of course we hang it up to dry. But what I want you to think about for a second is, is that good enough? Is that enough to get everything out of the regulator? Now, this particular one was used yesterday by a student. We were doing her rescue diver class, and of course we were out here in our lake. And in our previous video, we showed you just how nasty our lake is. Well, I want to open up the housing here for a second. I want to pull out the diaphragm, because I just personally rinsed this rig off. But I want to show you why sometimes that is simply not enough. Now, if I show you the diaphragm, it looks to be fairly clean. You can see that it's still wet, but you can see that there's still a lot of dirt and grime and grit that's up there, and hopefully the camera will focus. But you'll start to see that it's not as clean as what you think it should have been just from that washing. Even if I show you the front of it here, you'll see these dark little uh, brown spots. That's mud. That's dirt. That's grime. And just simply rinsing it off with a water hose did not clean it the way that we think it, it does. So if I show you the internal part of the second stage too, you will see it's a little bit wet, but the whole thing's not wet just from spraying it off. And I sprayed it up in the mouthpiece. I sprayed it up in the exhaust port here. But if you look close enough, you'll see that there's still some dirt and grime in there. Now, the only way to get that dirt and grime out is you got to tear your second stage apart. Now, let me caution you here. If you're not a service technician, please be careful taking your equipment apart. I would recommend taking it to your local service technician who's been trained by the gear manufacturer to do that. However, there are certain things you can do at no cost to clean your gear properly. Now, first of all, one of the things that you got to do is we teach an equipment techniques program here through SSI. We actually teach through multiple agencies, but it's a great class. Not only does it teach you how to take care of your gear and how to store your gear, we actually take it one step further and we say, okay, maybe you need to do some hose routing. So we're going to teach you not only how to take these hoses off the first stage. It's real easy. You use a proper wrench and you take it off. Um, but we're going to teach you how to check the O-ring, grease the O-ring, put it back together. Same thing on the second stage. I'm not going to teach you how to tear the whole second stage apart, but during that class, we teach you how to take the faceplate off, take the uh, diaphragm out, and then get in there and to clean it properly and then replace the diaphragm and all that. And at the same time, we're going to teach you how to inspect the diaphragm. Now, you don't need a gear technician to do that this is something that you can do very easily and on the diaphragm itself when we inspect these things basically we hold it up to light we check for dirt and grime and we just give it a little stretch and start looking for pinholes in the diaphragm so it's very easy to do you don't have to pay a service technician to do that now <clears throat> beyond that or outside that don't be messing with your demand lever or anything like that let a service technician do that um, but this is something you can do. You can tear the faceplate or tear, you can remove the faceplate and clean it out real good and replace it. Uh, you can check your diaphragm. It's something that you should be doing every year anyways without having to pay a technician to do it. Now, any adjustments that need to be made, then by all means, definitely, unless you're a gear technician or you've been trained, then by all means, take it to a gear technician, let him do it. That way you, you know it's been doing, done properly and that everything's in good working order. Um, but other than that, clean out your regs, you know, accordingly. If you're on a trip and you wash it every day after, after a dive or whatnot, that's fine. But when you get back from that trip, tear that second stage apart, get in there, clean it out real good, because you don't want that grit and that grime sitting in there. That dirt and stuff, as water evaporates out of your second stage, whether you hang it up to dry or whatnot, that dirt's still in there, and it's going to rub on that diaphragm, and it can tear it up. And remember, guys, this is not just dive gear. This is life safety gear, so take good care of it. But there are certain things that you can do to save money without having to go to a gear technician that will definitely prolong the life of your equipment and keep it in good working order. But guys, if you got any questions on this, please put it down in the comment section below. If you found it helpful, definitely hit that like button and share it for me as well. Or if you've got any tips for me on how you clean out your regulator system, please let me know down below because I enjoy learning from you guys as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.